Greetings Pisces and welcome to Ingrid's Insights. This reading is for you Pisces, sun, a moon or rising. And let's get right in here. And my name is Ingrid and I will be doing your tarot reading. And this is a bonus reading for March. So Pisces, if there's something that <clears throat> you need some clarity on about the month of March 2024, or anything else on your mind, please bring that question or concern or challenge or curiosity to this reading. And so it is. And this is what your angel oracle wants you to know as the theme of the reading. Well, Pisces, it's time to earth and ground. And yes, we're getting into the spring. We're coming to the end of winter. And spring is upon us on March 21st. So it's saying to balance these energies as you come into spring and see the green um, energy around this angel. So earth and ground. Spend time doing things, Pisces, that make you feel grounded. You're a water sign. So you can be very dreamy and uh, fluid at times. So uh, ground this. Bring this down to earth as we come into um, March. And the <clears throat> angel... Aura is about the vibrational field around this reading. And these are some affirmations to help you align with those energies that will bring you the most clarity and resonating information. And this is for you. Well, Pisces, you might be uh, coming upon something very magical in March, but you might need to have a reality check. Am I actually seeing unicorns? Um, but there's a transformation in your awareness and in your imagination coming. But make sure that you're not overlooking things and uh, letting those uh, dreamy fantasies take control. So um, bring assessment to this question. Explore some uh, possible answers. Be honest about this and be determined to see what is really going to serve you. Because you're moving forward, Pisces. And be careful as you come into uh, this reading about feeling indifferent, inactive, misguided, or unmotivated. So a reality check is coming and you're earth and grounding and see those similar colors as we come into spring. So <clears throat> let's get started with the tarot. So <clears throat> spirit guides... Thank you so much for overseeing this reading for Pisces. And thank you for bringing the accurate information that my Pisces needs to hear right now. And thank you. What is it that you need to bring to us today? And thank you so much for being present and overseeing this reading. And so it is. Thank you. We're leaving behind any entrapments or anything that leaves us in pain or fear as we go into March, Pisces, because there's a new opportunity coming right now. This is how you see the question, or the question could be about a financial opportunity, something at work. You could be um, hearing about a job um, opportunity, and you're uh, questioning um, whether this gift is being given to you and you've got to cultivate that and grow something from that and <clears throat> what helps or hurts this is uh, that fiery king you might be dealing with an Aries uh, Leo Sagittarius <clears throat> this king can go through the fire you see the salamander at the bottom of the card and in alchemy the salamander represents what can go through the uh, fire, be burned, calcinated, and still um, endure and come out of that fire. So um, this is a powerful card of taking leadership about something, and that could be the challenge to um, uh, take a certain position and go for something that you're really desiring about your finances and looking into that right now. And that could be a challenge, though. So let's see, at the foundation, what you might um, not know is coming or what could be out of your field of awareness is the celebration 
um, a happy relationship at home, just enjoying life, Pisces. Um, you could be hearing the announcement of the birth of a child or, the, or a wedding, or you could be getting married. But this is something, a milestone. You come to the finish line. You see you completed one phase of something, and there's a lot of joy and um, abundance around you. So, so much powerful energy here. And what just passed for you is um, you were moving away from something. At one point in the recent past, you felt very troubled and trapped and a feeling um, that you were um, not in a situation that you could ever get out of and very um, much going over and over in your mind. Uh, this situation. How did I get into this? How did I let myself get so involved in something that was not going to serve me? And I'm now taking myself with just the clothes on my back and my inner child and moving on from these troubled waters that you see to calmer waters. And you not, might not even know where these waters are taking you. But this a figure that is ferrying you over um, is got this long wand as the paddle. So it's saying that you've got this fire here and this um, movement also is a passion and a desire to move away from uh, troubling and negative um, situations that don't um, feel uh, mentally um, compatible with where you want to be anymore and you're moving on. It could be troubling. And the night of <clears throat> Pentacles is at the crown as the um, goal for my uh, Pisces. Well, you've worked hard on something. You've taken this pentacle, and now the knight is going forward. Knights go toward their goals, and this knight, slow and steady to cultivate these fields, um, these uh, fertile fields of abundance. And this is this pentacle that the knight is holding. And so what is coming right now for you to look at is uh, the work you're doing, uh, the job you are putting into something. And uh, there, there's a confirmation. Uh, keep on keeping on it, this craft, something that uh, you've taken this ace, this opportunity, this new um, a gift in terms of abundance, in terms of your finances and job and career. And now you're moving, <clears throat> you're working <clears throat> into that deeper. And you might have to spend a lot of time at that right now. But you will be successful, just like this night will be successful. So there's a lot of um, passion and fire here, but also a lot of abundance and working hard in the real world to bring um, a goal or financial ambition down to uh, reality. And this is you. How you see yourself or the situation, what you're seeing the situation is, uh, was this um, built on a, a firm foundation? What is happening? Was I too much up in my head? Did I really uh, need this reality check here? Um, Pisces, but it's saying that you're seeing yourself or your involvement in this situation is one of the tower of a big change, something coming out of the blue. It's going to knock you blindside and just wow. Um, and if you um, and another or your situation has been um, false, um, not really accurate and true, and just trying to get up to the top and uh, work your ambitions from the ego's perspective, well, the lightning bolt of the higher power is coming and knocking your crown off. And that's how you see it. And sometimes this being brought down to earth is very important for us because then we can move forward um, with the reality that's going to really serve us. And we need to earth and ground. So something has to come uh, down to earth now. And your environment is uh, the Ten of Pentacles. Well, the people around you have a lot of uh, in <clears throat> involvement in old money, uh, a lot of um, wealth. Um, but this is wealth that has been shared and uh, handed down through generations. And that could uh, be something in your environment or, or the people around you. 
but that is saying that there is a legacy in your environment, something that is uh, saying after this tower, uh, is this legacy gonna be uh, still here? Or what is this environment gonna, uh, how is that going to um, affect this uh, something that is changing radically, uh, being corrected, a course correction, um, to maybe uh, if you don't face this, uh, Pisces, you might not get this a legacy that is there available, this inheritance, this uh, promotion, because there's a lot of this pentacles involved here. And your hope and fear is a, a wish fulfillment, um, completion in the realm of your heart, feeling uh, secure and happy, satiated, uh, this is a card of eat, drink, and be merry, and enjoying life, um, enjoying the people around you, having a very a satisfying um, group of friends and um, family, but also being in a very solid and beautiful relationship. That's your hope and fear, Pisces. And the outcome or advice is to say, well, um, you are being offered like here again, there is this a divine offering um, that is always available for us. And here, uh, this is an offering of something in the realm of what you desire. You are looking um, despondently at these three cups as if they're no longer serving you. And you're not um, being that excited or open to a new opportunity. You're kind of caught in a a stuck position, a dead end, and it's saying um, <clears throat> the advice is to, okay, evaluate these feelings because it's interesting. You've got only two of the um, cards of the cups, which are of love, feeling, values, <clears throat> that deep sense of um, understanding emotionally, and you've got this satisfaction as your hope and fear, but the advice is... Um, do I really want to do this? I'm kind of bored. I'm kind of unclear about something in the realm of what I want to go for. Uh, something might have uh, happened in the recent past, a celebration, like, because we have had this card of celebrating. And that now you're just seeing, well, is this, that was good, but is this what I really want? And that could be also coming in with this um, tower hitting you from, uh, out of the blue, a shocking uh, revelation of something. And that's what you're uh, bringing to this question, Pisces. So uh, let's get some clarity uh, quickly for my Pisces is why is this Ace of Wands, um, I mean, excuse me, Ace of Pentacles here as the a theme of the question is what you're bringing here. And that is because of something from childhood, Pisces, something that, uh, came from a long time ago, a value system, how you felt. Uh, some, uh, it could be a gift from the past, um, an offering, somebody coming back from your past with um, an opportunity. And the King of Wands is clarified by the King of Wands. So it's saying there is um, the challenge or the help, uh, Pisces, for this uh, wealth coming in this opportunity that's coming from your past or bringing up memories of your past, there's a double emphasis on this leadership, this uh, passion, going for what you want, having that confidence. And the celebration is coming in a fast with a lot of communication. And this night is almost like a zealot on a crusade for uh, happiness, for balance, for a contentment at the level of home and relationships. And you're going away uh, from this troubling situation to something calmer because you have this queen. And the queen, uh, whether you're a man or a woman, uses that intelligence, that higher wisdom, that perspective uh, to um, know what is right and wrong for her. And she goes for it. And that could be what is helping you move forward. And this Knight of Pentacles, um, is saying, okay, uh, I've had a lot of anxieties and fears about something and I've let them go over and over in my mind. But the goal of dealing with that is to work at something, uh, slow and steady, 
Take your time. Uh, do it accurately. Uh, do it in a practical way. And you've got another king of swords. So you've got the king and queen of swords in the past and the future. Uh, so the king is saying, use your mind, your higher intelligence, that wisdom that comes from IQ, and bring that to your work and what you're working on. And the tower um, is clarified by the queen of wands. Well, you've got both the queen and king of swords and the king and queen of wands. And she is um, connected to uh, the occult, to psychic abilities, to taking that inner passion and going for it. And she's a leader like uh, the king of um, wands as well, but she goes and she might not even have that protection of the salamander. She has the protection of her uh, totem animal, the cat, the black cat. And that is going to have something very powerful to do with this tower. Maybe um, a, for Pisces, this um, seductive uh, feminine energy has come in to your question and how you see yourself, and that has uh, brought something crashing down. And you could have been at the, uh, what could come in, being uh, frightened or worried about something that you've been working on. And the <clears throat> environment is uh, clarified by the um, empress. Well, yes, this legacy uh, has an empress because the empress is abundant, uh, fruit, fruitful. Um, she could be pregnant with a new idea or just with the birth of a child that you're celebrating here and quick news about it. But in this um, uh, environment around you, Pisces, someone is very beautiful. Someone's very uh, full of creation and is um, like the earth mother herself, nurturing and abundant. Uh, this could be a lot of finance that's coming from this uh, kind of energy of the feminine uh, wisdom and connection to the earth and to uh, receiving abundance. And this hope and fear is happiness, contentment, your wish coming true. And that's clarified by uh, the three of pentacles saying, yes, um, you're going to find this happiness, this wish fulfillment by working in collaboration. And you've got a lot of cards of work of the night of pentacles and the eight of pentacles and the ace and now the legacy card of the ten of pentacles and um, the three of pentacles saying you're working on this happiness this contentment and you're working with others who will be involved in that and you'll be recognized uh, and very happy and this um, uh, four of cups is <clears throat> answered by uh, the magician Oh, see, and he's got this cup too, it's similar to this cup being offered right here. You see the two cups? And so it's saying that the magician is coming to help you use all of those aspects, your mind, your heart, um, your resources, and that fiery energy. You've got these two kings and the queen of wands. And that is a uh, Pisces, a powerful reading. And Whatever is keeping you bored or in this doldrums and not uh, feeling satisfied, work on it. You've got this uh, magician, make magic, manifest it, bring whatever this is that you've been working so hard in this opportunity, uh, bring it down and make it real. And uh, that is a powerful reading for Pisces. And let's get one final angel <clears throat> oracle. And this is the gift I want you to take with you as you leave the reading and move into this month for my Pisces. And this is the gift to take home. Power intention. We'll focus on your power and focus on that intention where you're moving forward and be that magician as you come into March and use your wisdom and sit firm in your leadership position. And a beautiful reading. And um, if you like the way I read Pisces, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. And you know I love you and 
we're here in this interconnected field, uh, learning and growing and uh, facing all of these amazing energies around us, but knowing that you're the magician in the end and you're gonna make magic and bring it down into uh, the 3D. And so let me hear how this uh, story unfolds for you. And see you next time, Pisces. Bye-bye.